Hello everyone and welcome back to Boss World by Kishmish Games. Today we are doing Scenario 3. What does this involve you ask? Today is a very hot spring day. You need to drive along the route from Pripyat bus station to Yanov station and back. The problem is that the engine in your bus is prone to overheating. In order for the engine not to break down, turn it off on the move occasionally and go freewheeling, i.e. coasting. So, essentially this simulates the breaking down of the bus, these are old machines, not very reliable at times, so we shall see how we go. Here's a fun fact about Pripyat, the population of Pripyat was 49,360 people, and all of them were evacuated after the explosion of CHNNP uh, on 1,225 buses and 250 trucks. If you're wondering what trucks to use, they probably use the trucks... Um, uh, you know, you'll, you'll see them as AI, I'll point them out to you, but basically they kind of had like these uh, little like flap thingies, barricade thingies, uh, where uh, people would, you could fit people in, more, you know, it's kind of like a pickup truck, but not a pickup truck, you'll see what I mean. I'm probably not doing much of a, of a I'm probably not accomplishing a very good description here, although I think achieving, I'm probably not achieving a very good description here, it's probably a better word than accomplishing. Let's use the English language uh, correctly. That would be a good start. So, also, uh, here's the person walking, the little loading screen for bus world. It's not bad, so let's see if we will see some new parts of the map. I have realized the map for Pripyat in this game is rather small. It's not a very big map, uh, unfortunately. So, anyway. Did you just end up hitting... Try to open the hood. Okay, so... Where's the hood? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Oh, okay, so it's the... That makes more sense. Yeah, um, this is a bit strange. Okay, using... Move it so that you can see the front of the bus. Okay. Uh, hold left alt to show the cursor. Left alt. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay, so that's how you open the hood. Um, yeah, the controls on this are a bit awkward, personally, I think. Yeah, so this is gonna. <laughs> this looks a rather odd uh, the way we're driving here with the hood up. Start up the bus. Um. I actually remember what was the handbrake. Yeah, I forgot the key bind for the handbrake. So anyway, yeah, yeah. Oh, that does not look good. Uh, what was it? FG. So yes, um, let's take a look here at our bus. Yes, uh, as you can see, it is overheating. Let's take a look inside the engine. Okay, so it's all 3D modeled, so that's good. Uh, I'm not sure how accurate it is, but yeah, look at that. Look at that. Boom. It's also one thing, as you notice, that the engine doesn't have like a floor at the bottom. I used to think as a child that the engines had a floor at the bottom, they don't. Again, that's probably just for ventilation. This is the 67 to bus station Yanov. Again, why do you use the English rather than the Cyrillic? I do not know. Presumably, they just translated everything, although I really don't think that would have been necessary. Okay, the door is closed. We're turning left here. Orange light. I thought for a second that little mini bus in front of us uh, was a car. The sounds of, the sounds of this bus personally I don't think are great. I think it kind of has them right, but kind of at the same time doesn't. It's 50-50. Also, it's kind of like when you're accelerating, you can hear the engine slowing down, which doesn't really make sense. So yeah, these are presumably the, the truck. Or actually, it wasn't the trucks I was thinking of. These probably were some of the trucks we use. Can you put an eye on the state and don't let it break down? The bus broke down already. Okay, so we were speeding there. Um, okay, I don't know how it broke down already. So we have to keep an eye on some sort of engine gauge. Yes, yeah, so as you see, these scenarios do get more challenging as you go along. I guess that's why the first one was the evacuation, because you're just following the convoy, so it's quite straightforward. You just follow a bus, not much that could be messed up there. 
Okay, enter to continue. So we're gonna go to C, C, C. Okay. Let's open the hoods, back the seat. Start the engine up. Oh, okay, so that's the uh, engine uh, heat. That's what we're t uh, keeping an eye on. Also, why is the bus always in gear? So, uh, okay, so basically, we need to turn off the engine while we're letting people on. Yeah, so they, this is this is gonna be a <laughs> we're driving a right old banger here, folks. We're driving a right old banger. Okay, come on, folks. There's two doors open. Use the other door as well. Oh, that horn is loud. Listen to that door close. You can't even see the door from here. Not really a big fan of the view uh, in this thing. So again, we really need to keep an eye on the. This is gonna be intense. Yeah, like this is hardly road league. Like driving this thing. Look at it. Like overheats so easily. We're gonna accelerate. Turn off the engine, coasting again. This is rather dangerous. <laughs> I have to say, this is just kind of funny because, like, you just don't get this in any other game. Like, you know, this is something so unique to Bustle. It's just kind of, I guess, they've, you know, they have identified a gap in the market. You know, they have created something that's completely unique. Like, you know, they gave us Chernobyl. Uh, they gave us, like, the simulation of overheating. The tsunami is now, I wouldn't call that a simulation. So much is just a, you know, Bit of a joke, personally. But as you can see here, the steering should be much uh, stiffer. If this has, I wonder how the force feedback works in this. I'll use the wheel at some point. Oh, I can use some dash thing to switch to neutral gear. Yeah, this this can't be good for the boss. Like just constantly. Turning the engine on and off, like just cannot be good for the bus. Uh, I can't even see the traffic lights from here, which does not help. Yes, so this is uh, this is uh, a day in the life. Yeah, the bus is reversing for some reason. These buses always go backwards rather than forwards when they're idling. Power, 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 power. Okay, we're gonna turn off the engine again. But yeah, I have to say, I'm kind of enjoying this. This is like, it's completely different, but it's pretty cool in my opinion. Or you should be stopping on the gravel. Uh, handbrake. I, I, what is the keyboard for the handbrake? I don't know, so. Everyone's on board a bus. Yeah, look at that. We're at the outskirts of the city. We can see stuff in the background. Is that the bus depot? Not a very fancy bus depot. F8. Oh, have to put the track brake on. Yeah, that's cost us running time. There's the lot of taxis. I don't know. I have to say, I'm really enjoying this game. Like, you know, it's, I, I, I like the vibe. It's just completely different from you get in other games. Okay, we're going uphill soon, so we're gonna need that. Pa we're gonna need that power soon. Uh, the, the thing automatically switched to neutral when we uh, turn off the engine. But yeah, we're gonna need that power soon, so. That's why I am um, basically turning off the engine. Yeah, see that hill there? It's not going to manage. This is the thing. This is not very realistic because you can't really coast up the hill. If it goes down the hill, no problem. But going up the hill. Now, coasting downhill is actually very dangerous. You should never do it in real life. Because, again, it's you disconnected from the power steering. Although these bosses didn't have power steering. I don't think they did have power steering in the first place. Anyway. As you can see here. Okay, let's see if we can make it up the hill. 
You can make it up like that. This is like. Now, I presume there's a real life gauge that shows us this as well, not just having to use the. Uh... Like, I presume there's a real life gauge. Should be a gauge somewhere here on this that shows us. That shows us the engine overheating rather than just having to use the. Uh... This little thing at the top, which again, takes away a bit from the realism. The little minimap. Sometimes before driving, I let overlays. Oh, the AI trains. Be nice to see some AI trains. Okay, let now. Let's hope this manages to get downhill. Uh, there's probably people at the. <laughs> there's people trailing us. They would not be happy. Yeah, look at these trucks. Just. Uh... <laughs> Do you see the way? <laughs> okay, let's try. <laughs> the AI does behave a bit oddly. Do you see how it's like. Uh... <laughs> Do you see how that AI is driving? That is a. Uh... Yeah, the way that AI is driving is a bit dodgy, if you ask me. Like the way it's jumping up and back, like back and forth, back and forth. Like, look, look at the way that AI is driving. Okay, there's the downhill physics, which here yeah, like was jumping back. It was very jumpy, which again isn't the most realistic way for it to be done. Which uh, generally the AI behaves quite well. And I didn't say that in the review video when I. Did. We should have done the review video after I played this for a while, but nonetheless, you know, it's... It's, you know, that's just one ma minor draw. I was going to say major, but no, it's a minor drawback. But for a second, that was a red light. That's just a person standing there. Oh, 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 sorry. I got mixed up with the... I got mixed up with the steering here. I got, no, when I say I got mixed up with the steering, I got mixed up with the keybind, so I was clicking. Again, this is not looking great. I was turning off the engine as we're turning because we're gonna lose speed when they're turning anyway. This is gonna be one long scenario. Why is my door open? I thought the door was broken for a second. Oh, look at these roads. They're falling apart. The bumpy roads. I, I have to say, <laughs> I don't know what it is about this scenario, but I'm, it is kind of good fun. It is, you know, it's a challenge and it's... Because most of us get boring very quickly, if you ask me. Like, you know, it's kind of the same thing. So this is the way to spice things up. And I think this is more... It is more of a game. It is kind of a simulator. It kind of... It, do, it does something different, which is good, because... I think maybe that's the thing about a lot of these boss manners these days. They're not trying to do like they're not trying to be simulators like per se. Like they are, but they aren't. Like I think the boss by Team Mouse Studios that does try to be a boss simulator. But I think like the boss simulator twenty one and this they they aren't really trying to be like full on boss simulators. The bus is full. I don't know. Yeah, I need to put on the handbrake. If I keep, if I had a keybind for the handbrake, that'll be useful. Also, I don't know why it penalizes you for like opening and closing the doors while you're driving, because that's what the drivers did in real. That's what, like drivers did in real life, especially. But I'm not sure if they like you know in some Eastern European countries they they do open and close the doors. Before the bus stops, which is also possible on these other buses, which isn't on your buses. I'm gonna stop taking screenshots. It keeps saying I'm trying to accelerate when I'm in neutral gear, but it's just like. What's it called? Muscle memory at some point. You have to drive this route back as well, it's a bit annoying. Like, why can't I just drive the route to the station? Why don't I drive the route back to the station as well? Yeah, again, uh, because we're turning here, we're gonna have to lose some speed, so... The world doesn't look bad either. It looks okay, like, once it goes far, I say it looks great, but... 
It looks decent. Those people just want to be walking by. These are kind of like the typical old, like, favorite style, like, villages. But it's kind of cool. It's different. It's very different. I don't know. I've said it before, but... Okay, just keep an eye out here. Oh, is this where the station is? Well, it will make sense to the near the train tracks. Yep, and there you go. We can see the AI trains. Okay, so it's not too long of a route. I don't even need to, uh... Accelerate, like... And turn on the engine. Oh, the tearing. Oh. Let's uh, go into the free camera. Look at those Soviet style trains. I need a picture with the train in the background, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Yeah, this is a train station. There's some taxis. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. You know, fair play to Kishmish Games. I, I really can't really fault this game. It's really good value, like 25 euros. Not like some studios, <clears throat> studio Polygon, that are uh, going to give very uh, high prices for something that offers very little compared to this. Anyway, what am I going to? Because Kishmish Games is also a very small studio. I'm making a lot less money than like other developers will be making. Anyway. I digress. Oh yeah, parking brake. Oh, perfect. We're gonna get a little picture here beside the train. Well, that door's kind of like open. None of these trains are still in use in some Eastern European countries. Okay, that train. The wind. Be nice that the windows were modeled. Okay, yeah, look. Uh, you might. Uh, turn around here. We've got to close the doors. Am I meant to turn around the building? I don't know. Sorry! Yeah, okay, maybe this vehicle stop is a bit... Get you. And also look at the wheels and like, they are kind of floating in the air. Yeah, so there's a train station, trains laying over. It's the same model, just different colors. I don't know why they used the green before. What was the green the color of? Because like, it's only the USSR like color. I didn't even realize the train station here was like, I guess the train station here was for like the village. Road to Yanov. I think I was gonna say, oh wait, the timetable disappears when you turn off the engine, but it doesn't. Okay. This is a circular route. Oh my. Imagine being on this, like, most, like, if this is this day and age, you have people complain, but this is a shocking service, like, the bus kept stalling. This is like a hybrid, like, you know, we talk about the hybrids, like, engines turning off and the bus is not in motion. This is like, this is like, Jumping the gun because obviously this base of the 1980s, but if you look at this, this is like a, this is like a hybrid. How many doors open? Oh, uh, here we have some cows in the way. Give the doors open. Looks like it's warm. I really like the cows here. Okay. Yeah, here we're getting less speed, I think, because of, like, obviously, it's another tarmac. Yeah. Really? I don't know how the engine keeps turning on and off. Like, I don't think this seems realistic. Like, I think the engine will be gone by now. Like, all this wear and tear. Tuning is already falling apart. And also, it doesn't seem to, like, it seems to be very, like, you don't have much time before it overheats. It seems to be a bit, not, it doesn't seem to be very generous. A bit too harsh, maybe. Yeah, 
Here we are. All aboard. All right. Oh, it's P. No. Oh, that's how you get rid of that. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's not drive it open doors. It's clearly just penalizing us. Yeah, so there you see our uh, check engine light is on. Hopefully that car won't mind us. Trying to turn here with no engine on. Blowing it down. Okay. Voila. Okay, the boarding's not too bad. It's better than the bus by TML Studios. Okay, there's some glitches with the way they walk. But again, this is where the access presumably fixed. Walking through poles. Kind of like going forward and backwards. And then, yeah, bit. Some issues, but yeah. What was the parking brake? It was Z. It was Z. I was like, yeah, I think it's Z. It was. Oh, there's the, I was gonna say, where's the indicator thing? Uh, there it is. It looks like you sleep. It's kind of like with the trucks. We're on a gradient here, so. I think that's our engine temperature gauge. Oh, you can't zoom in. Oh, yeah, yeah right click to zoom in. That's our, like, engine temperature gauge. But I don't think it's uh, moving much at all. We we'll always like to drive in the water, but again, in a scenario, so once we're in free mode, we can do all that stuff. This is uh, similar to the BMNG, but again, that goes 2013. But again, makes sense because it's built on the same engine. And the way the Unity engine works is painting this on, like we saw that like in one of the videos if you watched the stream. I just painted stuff on, I can't remember if it's a video or a stream. Or a stream. So I speak with quickly there. These are the words becoming dribbling into one. Hey, okay. yeah, not very fun driving on a straight road with a broken engine. Just keep up the slowing down. No other AI buses as well, like in this. Like I know there's AI buses in the convoy, but like. I don't think any of the buses driving by, like I'm not sure what the frequency of this bus service is. And also, I just realized there's a very limited amount of buses they offer, there's only two. So, not really that much, that many. Okay, that's pretty cool, like I like the physics there, you see how the car is bouncing. Late arrival at bus stop, what? Very harsh. Oh no, we're gonna have to redo this. Oh, we can just cheat and go into the that China map to get our extra points needed. Yeah, so we're running late here. Just wasting too much time taking pictures for thumbnails. This is gonna be, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yield. Yeah, I mean, I took that very wide, but again, I'm running late, so it's like... Oh, not this flipping... 
Yeah, we have one minute to get to the bus station. Well, no, we don't. We have sixty. We have less than sixty seconds. So yeah, we're gonna be late at that stop. Also, digital watch in the 1980s? Oh, I don't know about that. Bit of a luxury, really. It's not really a necessity, so I'm not really convinced by the digital watch. Digital watch. Okay, this is the problem. We can't get up this hill. Okay, we're gonna have to wait here a bit for the engine to uh, cool down. This is intense. Dun dun dramatic music. If I wasn't lazy, I could have added, would have added dramatic music at the end, you know. By editing the video, it's not even that hard because just doing the YouTube studio, but. A bit of power, now it's straight, so it should uh, at least move when you turn off the engine. Okay, now we can close downhill. Yeah, but we're, we're running very late, so this is not good. We're gonna get penalized. Okay, give it a bit of a boost, and it's just ro gonna roll downhill. Yeah, the thing is you have to be careful not to like turn off the engine too late because like over takes a few seconds for the engine to turn on, like one or two seconds, so. Hey, let's gain momentum here. Yeah, it's not like us running late. Well actually we have one run late some Obviously there's only so much you can do and especially like when you don't have like speed capacity of the bus, there's only so so much I can do, like, can't even floor it here because again, the engine's not letting us do that. Oh, this is the bus station. This looks like a. Oh, okay. That's the bus station. Looks like a bus depot. Oh, that's not the bus station, I was looking for a second. That's the bus stop. Yeah, there's reason, obviously, too, I also have, like, uh, the steering wheel to turn back. But, like, no one uses it even using keyboard, but no one uses keyboard, it's just really me and a few other people. I used to actually use it with the dynamic, like, where they're doing, like, the steering wheel coming back, like it does here in this game, but I don't know why I stopped. Hey! I actually didn't realize this is where we started from. Why is no one getting off the bus? Okay, these passengers are very flippant. Bus seat. Oh no, I collided with something here. We're not in the right place. Come on, they should be getting off, yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, uh, we definitely haven't got enough points. Okay, yeah. I don't think we did that too well. So, look. Yeah, we haven't unlocked anything because, well, we made a bit of a mess of it. Oh, we did. Nice. So, yeah. There you go. These are the new stuff unlocked. Not a big fan of the whole game's element, but I guess it makes you interact with it a bit more. Yeah, so we've unlocked scenario 5. Oh, it's nighttime drive. But that, folks, is for 
next time this video. Of course, subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified when that video is out and you can watch it at your own time. We are going through most scenarios and all scenarios in Boss World, hopefully. It's actually straightforward, it's only 10 on each side, 10 and 9, so we can actually do that. Oh, and look at this. After Boosty, there's a little book about bosses. Anyway, and a little old school calculator and a telephone and a lamp and I don't know what the poster says. But thanks everyone for watching and bye for now. Oh wow, it took us half an hour to do this. Yeah, not impressive.